There are many different types of weapons and items that people basically never use because they always have something better or they just completely forgot they even have it in their loadouts or maybe they don't even have it. So that's basically where we're going to be talking about. Top 5 of the most extinct items you don't even see anymore in games uh, in this day and age. Number 10. So I know there's a ton of people who have different opinions on whichever defender is the best. Obviously a bunch of people say it's the elf or the yeti or the ginger but i don't really see many people talking about the snowman and it's basically because the snowman is the least best out of all of them this guy is basically throwing pebbles at a juggernaut thinking that he can one shot them crazily instead you instead you could just be going for an elf or a gingerbread or a yeti that can basically pack a ton of more damage to infect it and have a lot more time to actually live for the snowman, he has lesser amount of damage and yes, just the same amount of HP as all of them, but his rate of fire makes it so he basically is bleeding out so fast that you can't even get the medkit to revive him basically. So what I'm trying to say is the snowman has some, I guess, advantages. The fact that he constantly damages infected, it's just the fact that literally every single damage of his does literally nothing. You're throwing pebbles at infected that people are always saying, I should be going for elf or ginger or even yeti. Why am I going for a snowman who is basically doing nothing, basically, if that makes sense. The snowman just doesn't really have the most greatest amount of effects and really gain performancing uh, benefits than all the other defenders that are in the game. This is one of the defenders that I barely see people use, but whenever I do, I'm always thinking, I mean, do you have other defenders? If you could, then, you know, you could use the other ones, but at the same time, if you want to use snowman, then I guess that's fine, but don't expect the snowman to insta-kill a hunter. Number four. Number 4 is the Vector. Now, the Vector is by far one of the most rarest guns in the game, mainly because it came out in the, what, 2021 event or something like that? I can't remember. I think it was 2021. But then, um, when it came out, it was completely terrible. The ammunition, the rate of fire, the damage was pathetic, and especially how much of ammo you had on the side and in, in, in each mag, basically. This weapon was just a terrible reward for such literally doing so much work, which was like kill five juggernauts and kill five banshees or something like that, which took a while. And then you got this reward, which was just so awful. Then they buffed it to now where in this game, it's actually pretty decent. Now, I don't see many people having this because obviously it's an event item and mainly because, well, no, not many people have it. Only like a few like 100 actually have it or something like that. I can't remember. I'll probably just post a screenshot of uh, what to call how many people have it, how many cl people claimed it. But this weapon, even though so a lot of people have it, they don't use it because they are always under the assumption that this weapon is just terrible. I used it in the games and it actually demolishes infected HP. It's just the fact that you do run out of ammo incredulously faster. Now, the only suggestion I would say is I'd like two or three more mags, really. And then it would actually become pretty decently good and strong and then it would be close to like the like the very end of a tier but this weapon is basically bleeding throughout so much ammo fast and the fact that not many people have it because it's obviously a holiday event item basically means it's a weapon that is just like a oh oh my god they've been playing for like two years but at the same time it's something that you don't really see every now and again number nine Number three is the Galil. Now, a ton of people don't even have the Galil. Mostly, like, like 60% of, like, the population don't even have the Galil, mainly because only 389 people ever have the Galil, which is really surprising since the lo that's literally the lowest amount of people who have anything. I mean, the second lowest is, like, the Valiant Survivor, which I'm pretty sure is the Vector, and only 777 people have that one. But 389 people have one of the best guns in the entire game is really saying something. And this challenge took a ton of time. I can't remember what it was. I think it was the Juggernaut Banshee one. And then the Vector one was God. Oh, that's right. The Vector one was the challenges and stuff like that. But, or the campaign ones, basically. But this challenge was actually very simple to actually do. And I'm surprised not many people actually got the Galil since it's actually a very cracked gun back then. And then to this day, it's actually a very strong weapon as well. But though this weapon seems to be kind of extinct, or as you could say, not even being able to be seen by anyone, since obviously number one, nobody has it since the limited time 
event uh, weapon. Number two, there are sometimes a little bit more better weapons than this one, even though this gun is possibly one of the best long range assault rifles in the entire game. This weapon is incredibly good, and if I were to have to put it on the spot, I would say it's probably around A tier. It is ridiculously good, but I'm so surprised not many people have. Uh, What's it called? Have not been able to actually get this weapon since it is ridiculously strong. But otherwise than that, this weapon is just one of the most rarest guns in the game. And if you do see it, you know they are a, an extremely rare species. Number seven. All right, here we go. Snow shovel for number two. Now, this weapon was by far considered the most rarest thing in the entire game. Mainly because this came out in like, what, 2019, where not many thousands of people were actually playing, even though there was a lot of people playing it. But the fact that this weapon is, was back then just terrible, it was literally terrible. If you ever saw someone with this weapon, like in today's day and age, you would say, oh wow, they are an OG by a ton of time. We need to fear them at most. Or maybe befriend them, who knows. But now in today's day and age, um, you can be able to contract it, which is cool and all. And the reward you get is not the greatest. This weapon does like, what, 40 damage per hit? And, or per swing, as you could say. And its ability is not even that great. All it does is throws a snowball in an infected if you even hit an infected. And it temporarily blinds them and I'm pretty sure makes them go slow. Or the, what's it called? Chiller effect. And uh, that's it. But also, there's a little bit of a thing called for the infected highlights. So basically the entire blindness effect is completely useless since infected can still see the highlighted survivors. I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure actually. But... Other than that, this weapon just doesn't serve that much of a beneficial to you since you can be using the machete, the pitchfork, you can be using the katana, the what's it called? Uh, what's it called? The ham, that's right. I was gonna say the meatloaf, but the ham. You can be using all of those weapons, but instead you use this weapon that uh, is not the greatest. The only reason you should be using this weapon is because number one, you locked it and you're like, hell yeah, look at this. And other than that, you're just like, oh, let me just try it out. But other than that, this weapon is extremely rare and it's just not the greatest in the game. Hopefully it does get some buffs, but for now, it's just not the greatest. Number one. Check this out. Oh my god! I don't know how, but this weapon, I have just not seen anyone using it in so long. Number one is the laser pistol, which is so strange to actually say because it is a Robux weapon and obviously people can use it and obviously get it literally in a second. But the fact that literally, it's actually a really good secondary, but the fact that literally nobody has it just makes me super confused. I'm not too sure if people just don't like it and they have other better options or they just don't have it. Or maybe they do have it and they just, don't, they just completely forgot that it even exists. Because the other pistols that I see really good or other secondary is number one, obviously RPG, Python, the super shorty or whatever it is, and then the other pistols. But this pistol, aka the laser pistol, is a very good secondary and me seeing not many people have this out i just feel like well, is this an actual holiday uh, limited edition weapon no it's an actual robux weapon so like why don't many people have it out probably because um people just don't really resort that much to secondary since they obviously have like a shotgun assault rifle which is way better than a pistol or a mini shotgun that you actually be holding around at the same time it's a very good secondary to pull out just in case you've run out of ammo or you basically need to kill an infected before they get to you and you ran out like of ammo and you have to reload and you don't have time you can just pull it out and just kill them with your secondary that's mainly what the secondary um secondary's purpose is to basically finish off the infected and because obviously um it holds another weapon slot but this weapon i have just not seen it in which is ridiculously confusing because this weapon is incredibly strong and I think it's pretty cheap, I'm not too sure anymore. And it does have a decent amount of ammo, not as much as it had before. Decent amount of damage, incredibly good aim, and what's it called, long reach distances of its shots. It's just really confusing on why this weapon is just not even seen anymore. Alright, so now that we've finished upon all of that, I want to ask you guys, do you think holiday weapons such as like the Goliel, Pitchfork, and other stuff like that can become contracted again? Now, as an example, I'm not going to be saying this has to be this, but 
as an example, the Galil could be like, I don't know, tw uh, what's it called, 15,000 or more, maybe higher of an XP to get. I mean, it may sound like a what, but this is a holiday limited edition item. We should not have, let people have it anymore, which does make sense, but at the same time, there are newer players who are like, then why is this in my inventory if it's locked forever? Like, that doesn't make sense, just have it hidden. So, what I'm thinking is weapons should be able to be contracted, but it's just the fact that it's literally a choice, like a, hey, you can either get on right now and spend the next, what, few hours grinding and playing, and then, hey, I got it, nice. Or you can basically not get on right now and spend the next three weeks grinding your ass off in order to get this weapon that basically becomes bad because they nerfed it or something. I just feel like contracted weapons because you didn't get it at the time, you still have a second chance. It's just the fact that you have to, uh, what's it called, handle the punishment of not playing at that time. But you can still get it, it just takes a lot longer to actually get it. So that's basically my question for you guys. Do you think all holiday items should be contracted, but just for like a higher amount than like 10,000? Because we want to give an advantage, uh, what's it called, some chances for newer players realistically. Yeah, that's all for this video. See you. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys about 42 years and have a great game.